In this video, I'm going to cover one of the functionality within Microsoft Edge called as grouping of tabs and uh, automatically suggesting the grouping names. Now, what is a grouping functionality? So take for example, if you are navigating to a website, okay, so I'm going to Microsoft.com, Apple.com, uh, and then within Apple, maybe if I click on say iPad, iPhone, watch airpods uh, and within microsoft maybe if i click on say surface and then i'll go and uh, click on some other laptops you know so if i click on so i'll just say duplicate tab duplicate tab so in one tab i'll open surface and another tab or uh, maybe i'll open some accessories surface pro accessories and in another tab uh, I may go to laptop code 3. Okay. So if we are browsing through the website and over a period of time, if you uh, gather so many tabs, then it's a nice way to uh, organize this tab. Okay. So how do you organize? Is first thing, you select the tab and you just say right click and say add tab to new group. And you create a new group called as Microsoft or whatever classification you want to do. So I'm just creating Microsoft. And then if I want to add this into Microsoft tab, I'll just click and then drag this. Okay. So this is how I have Microsoft tab over here. Okay. And so on and so forth, you know. So now the approach which you have done is a manual approach. Okay. So let me take this off, take this tab off. Okay. So I'll just say uh, close group tabs. Okay. So I'll just close the window. Okay. So now I'm in Apple. Let me open Microsoft again. Again, go to Microsoft. And I'll just click on, so maybe Copilot or maybe Windows or maybe Surface. Okay, so I've opened different tab. And on the other side, I'll open New York Times, nytimes.com, and maybe Google website. Okay, so I have multiple tabs. I'm browsing through the internet, and these all tabs are there. If I want to group this tab manually, then I can do right click and add tab to group. Okay, now if I don't want to do it manually, and remember, if, if there are like, say, maybe 50 tabs, I don't want to do it manually. If I want artificial intelligence to suggest something, then what you can do, if you see this icon over here, you know, this is called as a tab actions menu. You click on this and there is a new preview feature called as group similar tabs. Okay. If I click on group similar tabs, watch what happens. Artificial intelligence will automatically suggest that, hey, these five windows, the first five windows belongs to Apple and I've suggested the name Apple. And the next three say, it looks like Microsoft and New York Times and Google are like separate, you know? So I, uh, there's no classification for that. So how nice it is that uh, AI has suggested that uh, categorization. And if I click on group tabs, then what happens? It is It will automatically create those tabs. And then so on and so forth. If you uh, say, if you search in Google for uh, maybe say Northern Lights, okay? Northern Lights. And uh, again, if I click on, randomly click on various uh, uh, links, okay? And, uh, and again, like this is already classified. If I just do again, tab actions menu, and then I say group similar tabs, then what it will do, it will again suggest about that tab. And it has suggested, hey, this belongs to Northern Lights. So why don't you group it? And I've got this grouping done, okay, automatically. So now if you see there are three groups, Northern Lights, Apple, Microsoft, which has been automatically suggested. Uh, and then I can navigate to uh, those particular tabs. So this is a nice bit handy feature provided within Microsoft Edge. Remember, this is in a preview state. So uh, expect some sort of uh, glitches, but uh, it's a nice way to group your similar tab if you're browsing through the tabs, uh, browsing through multiple tabs in Microsoft Edge, which we all do. Uh, and if you want to organize it in a nice fashion, then uh, this is the way to go. So that's it, folks. This is uh, how you group similar tabs. Thanks for watching.